present in one way or another in this event. We seek a lot of people. Without wasting much time, as soon as you just proceed, we also take the national anthem and all of us to sing. Distinguished spouse, 
members of the National Assembly present, members of the Diplomatic Corps, your Royal Highnesses, Captains of Industry and Commerce, and entrepreneur for excellence, a philanthropist, and above all, a friend and a brother. Last month, specifically on the 10th of May, the Nnam Dazikiwe University of Kanambra State conferred the honorary doctorate degree in entrepreneurship, honoris causa, on Sir Mekofo. Some of us, his friends, I say some, because he has so many friends, felt it was a great opportunity to celebrate a wonderful, a great person. And so we are gathered this evening to celebrate Sa'i, to spend time with him. This dinner could have taken place contemporaneous to the, uh, the confinement of the degree. But because of our Muslim brothers who were fasting at that material time, we had to reschedule to today. So today, on behalf of friends of Sir Emekofa, we say FOSE, that is the acronym for Sir Emekofa. I welcome all of you to a night and evening of laughter, conviviality, fellowship, and love. Relax, enjoy yourself. We are all friends of Sir Emekofa. Thank you. And the right up. It's quite, uh, I'll call it an encyclopedia, but it's because of the size, it's just a summary. And the two individuals that have been uh, nominated to carry out the, the function of being MCs, Masters of Ceremonies, are highly distinguished individuals who know what to do and how to do it. My comment essentially has been covered by the right up here, by the friends of Emekofo. I start by commending them for being patriotic enough in identifying some good qualities that will help to unite our country. People who carry others' problem as if it is their own and spend more time trying to see how they can make others succeed by succeeding in themselves. So Emeka is an example of that. In fact, he puts more fight on things that concern other people than himself. He thinks of others first, even before himself. Now, the Nnamdi Azikiwe University, Oka, and incidentally, the former Vice Chancellor, Professor Ahaneku, is here too. I think I, I want to propose a special vote of thanks to him for identifying somebody that has contributed enough and still contributing in the area of entrepreneurship and helping others to succeed. A bunch of them, as you can go through that the list here, it has nothing to do with any ethnic group. It cuts across the entire country. That makes him a great man selfless individual and the, the, the quality of individuals here will tell you the caliber of individual that you have come to honor. Everybody is important to a success in his or her own calling. I looked around here, I, I got here in time and, and sat back to observe people as they uh, walked in. There's no person here that is a mean person. So, our celebrant is not only a success business-wise, but as one of the masters of ceremony mentioned, in capital development, human capital development, very, very essential. So, our country, if we have as many people as I make up for, it will help us tremendously in making 
a tremendous success. As we would like to say, in getting to the next level, we need people like Sir Emekofo. And uh, for the University of uh, Namde Azikiwe University to recognize that quality in him, and being a university in his home state, they say charity begins at home. It makes a lot of sense. So I commend every person who has found time to be here, and more especially those friends of Emekofo who contributed tremendously in financial means and time in organizing this. We had a similar thing on the date the degrees were awarded, on the 10th of May. I was there. They did a lot and they have continued to do that in appreciation of what America stands for. They have touched the lives of many people and still touching lives of many people. So we will uh, rejoice and thank the university for identifying the successful person who will inspire others to do even much better. I will recommend that we find time to read the right, the right up here, especially, as somebody said, the last paragraph of that very write up. It's well written. The person who did that, or the persons, are really erudite scholars. So I thank you all for the audience. Let us move as fast as we can, because we didn't start in time. But we can still achieve success if we in Oka on the 10th of uh, May, was it? June, May, um, when we were conferred the honorary doctorate together. And on that occasion, I said, after paying compliments and tribute to the Ovi of Onicha, I went on to say, as for some Emeka or four, his is the typical Igbo story of perseverance, of discipline, hard work, and enterprise. Sa'i, as his friends and admirers call him, remains a humble man, kind and generous to all, and always ever ready to embrace any worthy cause worth his support. His philanthropy knows no bounds and never distinguishes between region, tribe, religion, or indeed politics, as this gathering shows. His most impactful engagement is his collaboration with the Carter Foundation as the uh, gentleman who read the citation said, to eradicate river blindness and his other efforts to tackle preventable diseases. Though a self-made man, a multi-billionaire, who is at home anywhere in Nigeria, in Europe, or the Middle East, he remains a modest man very much accessible to all and at home everywhere. Sa'i is a devoted family man of deep religious conviction. Despite his cosmopolitanism, he remains firmly rooted in his rural Ora Ifite, where his philanthropic imprint is visible everywhere. Since the, since the guillotine of one and a half minutes and two minutes, unless we want to reinvent the world, uh, called, but awkward going for Tanaka. On the way, I want to thank uh, God for today, and I'll be standing among men's quality men of this country to make a little speech about my mentor, Sir E. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking because I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting to be called. But the most important thing is we are celebrating a good man, a man that fights for the less oppressed, a man that always supports any good cause you've chosen in life. I don't know if I can narrate my 
Odell last year, becoming a senator, the only senator out of 109 senators in Nigeria, 108 senators came from the ruling party and the um, big opposition party, and I'm the only YPP. <laughs> but Sayi is a man, once he's convinced that you have the right cause to fight for, he will support you to the last cause. And I won't go about discussing issues that come that brought about me being in the Senate. But to God, whom glory must be given to, without a make for, I wouldn't have been there today. <laughs> I would also like to mention about his community leader, his, his input in his community. He's a community leader. You can, you can take everything away from Sa'i, but don't take all of it away from him. Once you go into Orifite, you try to, you try to touch anybody from Orifite. Sai will be always, if I, how many people do you have in your, uh, your, your company? How many Orifite people there? Everywhere he goes, he goes with Orifite. So you must give it to him. And then he lost people. Yesterday or two days ago, we were saying, Sai doesn't do anything in life than what he lost most is being with people. You know, he wants people to be around him. He doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't go the other way. All he wants is people around him. <laughs> so, I'm so glad that today we are here. You know, normally when, when we have this kind of have uh, been awarded doctorate degree, once we, we are done with that, everybody goes his way. But you can see, he wants people, those that accompany him and those who were not able to go to Oka, to come back together. Let's have an evening together in this atmosphere. God bless you, Sa'i. As I look around this room, my eyes get very misty. Misty in the sense that I have a lot of uh, mixed emotion. If I had the platform, this event would have taken place many, many years ago. Um, People talk about Sir Mecca, the good man. Sir Mecca is a giant elephant, gigantic elephant. And I use the word gigantic for emphasis because people talk based on their own perspective of what they know about Sir Mecca. If I want to talk about Sir Mecca, I have a lot of things to say. But I'm going to focus on Orifite. I'm going to focus on uh, Umeneke. I'm going to focus on Kalafia. And I'm going to focus on Ekusigo and Anambra State. Because that's home. Uh, most people talk about him, you know. I've known Emeka since he was 10 years old. I know how many communities that have offered him titles and he rejected it. The only title he has now accepted is his birthright, which is the Eneke Second of Ume Eneke Kingdom. Um, that tells you the type of person that he is. You know, there was an Igwe that walked by and I was asking from which hometown. That's what we used to say about Orifite. When you say you're from Orifite, people will say, where is Orifite? So Eneke put Orifite on the map. Now, when you say uh, Orifite, they say Emekofo. Um, that is something Seneca will go and fight. And his only reason is because those people cannot speak for themselves and they can't fight for themselves. Seneca will take that contract and do it for himself. When OK said uh, Seneca is a good man, I would say Seneca is a government. He's a government on his own. He's a government because Semeka has taken the responsibility of building roads in our community. That is what government is supposed to do. Semeka has taken the responsibility of giving jobs to almost every person. When you find you talk about Orifite, whenever you say something, Emeka will say, Oh, you Orifite nearby. Emeka will call me at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, Steve, can you Orifite are getting nearby? No, we position for town. There's a position out there. Find somebody from Orifite that would occupy that position. That's what he will say. 
Semeka has a welfare system. Nigeria is still struggling to articulate a welfare system. Emeka has a perfected welfare system in Orifite. If you're from Orifite, you can go to the Semeka for Foundation and get health care free. You don't have to pay a penny. All you need to do is to have your social passport. And that's why I say he's a government. He issues passports, but he doesn't know how many people that are walking around with his passports. And that first passport that you have is the passport that simply says, who are you? And you say, I'm from Orifite. That's your social passport. Or if you want to be more sophisticated, you say, I'm a maker of first brother. Once you say that, you have your way for whatever you want. The tribulations that will challenge us across the world. And we don't know what God's plan is for us. One of the things that we don't know is what our legacy would be. But I know, and I know most people in this room know what your legacy is going to be. You do not know this, but every encounter I have with you is an educational opportunity for me. My brother, I've learned so much from you. Um, you taught me that the best thing we can do in life is to live our life to the best that we can. You taught me that every day we should use it as an opportunity to treat people with care and kindness. You taught me that the best thing we must do in life is to make sure that we leave this world much better and richer than we inherited it. My brother, that is going to be your legacy. God bless you. So my children, Uh, so my chief uh, greatness and so my, the greatness trumps upon them. But uh, Semeko so for <coughs> it's not like that. We were together during our childhood. We are together because Semeko so for achieved his greatness by self-effort. When we came out from secondary school, because he has nobody, I got job before him. Smaller than the only <laughs> I've known Sir Mecca, I'm a, a, I'm a newcomer, I've known Sir Mecca since 2009, and I've had the opportunity to work with him since 2012. Upon my arrival, my arrival, sorry, immediately he took me as family. And basically he allowed me under his wing to develop as being a better person. However, Sir Emeka, I consider him a workaholic. He never stops. He works night and day. Sometimes I even wonder if he sleeps at night. <laughs> because he will call you at two, three o'clock in the morning and say, Mark, I need this document now, now. Please send it to me. You know, it's incredible. But he never takes no for an answer and he never backs down. Nothing can stop him. I even think that he can climb Mount Everest to, do, to get things done. So he never stops striving to do the best he can. Also, Sir Mecca is a most generous person that I've ever met. He is a true philanthropist. I don't have to repeat, he has his own foundation. He's been helping people, widows, etc. Also, he, was, he is the ambassador for the Rotary Club on the polio and on with the uh, Carter uh, Center for uh, the uh, uh, river blindness. And he has donated, as it's been said before, millions and millions of dollars. So he is very, very generous. So it is my pleasure to award the, uh, the uh, award, the doctorate degree in entrepreneurship. And uh, the, the story of uh, Elpress EMP 
is a, is a fantastic story of entrepreneurship. I was first introduced to uh, Sir Emmerich in 2010 by Leslie Blair, who had worked with uh, Sir Emmerich Hoffer in the fantastic Annex petroleum story up to the point of the sale of, uh, to, to Sinopec. We started in, in two, 2010 and just a group of us guys with no funding and Ceramica offer to back us. And uh, since then... Sir, Dr. Amico offer. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see the photograph here? And you can look at uh, Sir E's face. This photo is not for photos. He is actually a living legend. I have seen him smiling, laughing all the time. Even in time when we are distressed, and if I can, if I may speak on behalf of all my brothers, friends, and colleagues of Room Group and all the subsidiaries we have, there is one famous word from Sir E. If anybody can guess. With the Atananda Zikiwe University by recognizing a global citizen, a very good man, infectious philanthropist, great achiever, and a great humanist. For me and for us at Inanda Zikiwe University for 10 years, we studied Sanemeko for like a book. In some of the palace, a man in some countries like uh, China, in Japan, if you have achieved so much, you are no longer taking him as a motor. You'll be surprised that today we study Confucius. Confucius was a human person. But there, they had a kind of belief. But for us, we revere people that have worked very hard. Speaking and looking, as an individual, as a pathologist, as a chemical pathologist, we'll be able to distill the person and personality of San Diego for. We also. First of all, I will say that I'm overwhelmed. When um, this show committee of friends of mine was put together, they started their nocturnal meetings. They never asked my, for my advice. They kept on moving. And by the time they finished their activities on the 10th of May, that was a talker. They now started juggling to fix a date for this um, night event that is taking place today. Well, I will not say that um, I least expected this. I know that um, an adage says that to whom much is given, much is expected. And if we have spent their tentacles across the uh, Milton Crony of this country. Um, one of my mentors, Ambassador Babagana King Gibe, spoke, oh, that um, say, make offer is not from Orifite. I'm supposed to be from uh, um, Kafanchan. Because if, if I, it were to be in America, I will claim Kaduna State, and nothing will happen. 
But um, be it as it may, I thank everyone of you that is here today. I will continue to do good as long as God brings the resources or makes it available to me. I, you know, um, Sonny and uh, the other people that have spoken earlier, I am a self-made man. And you know that a lot of people have worked hard. But it's, the only is always on God to cram the effort. And when the effort is crammed, then it becomes people tend to, to believe that they're superstars. I'm not a superstar. That's why I'm still a humble person. You know, um, my children are here. Some of my children are here. Chuka is here. Stand up to be recognized. Or if you can run here, then... then and Chuma is here too. Um, if he is here too, incidentally, if he is married to the Olobis of uh, um, Nemo, and then uh, Njideka is here too. Thank you. You can see that they are humble people too. Because if they are not humble, maybe would have been dragging here. They would, they would have wanted to be in table one or this and that. But um, wherever you are, you are chairman. Whatever God, wherever you are, God will bestow a blessing to you. And um, what I'm doing, people said here that uh, okay, that when I after helping people, Peter and Tefa, I will ask the person to go. Why I do so is that God never given me any, God, I've never seen God, God never given me any charge, nothing, I've never paid anything, no dues to God. And yet, I've been so lucky and lucky amongst, you know, my peers in Orifite, my peers in Anambra State, those ones that have run faster than their shadow, at times they don't get to where I've got into. I have seen a lot of wahala in this life, and that is why I will not change. At times, People like Soludo, when we speak, they say, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And the word wonderful comes out three times from Soludo's mouth. You know that the matter is serious. <laughs> eh? Eh? <laughs> you know, eh, um, the best teacher in this world is experience. You don't tell a wise man to come out from the sun. When the sun or fire hits you, you will understand. I have gone through all those things. I have seen, I have, in, in 1999, as a very young person then, I pursued the course of uh, the Hebrews. I pursued Chuba. Chuba must be snake president. People in the eye with my resources. I was fighting the and I never knew anything because when I was doing those, those things, I never negotiated anything from Chuba. And that was why God saved me. People said, ah, so you fought with president? And then I said, I didn't know what happened. But at the end of the day, because of myself, I remember in the night I was in um, room um, 419 in this hotel, Princess Suite. Yes, 419 in this hotel. That night, um, Rimi, Abubakar Rimi of Blessed Memory, came, Sonda Uni, um, Equeme, and all of them, they came begging me. Oh, that please, can you drop this idea of Chubokadibo? Can you drop this idea of Chubokadibo? I said, no, why should I drop it? Because Mr. President of Abbasanjo said that he will make Chubokadibo senior president. And we continued. But by the grace of God, all things came and passed. Nothing happened. The will of God prevailed. And uh, then Chuba later emerged as senior president. And my dad asked me one day, all this year fight, this trouble, what did you achieve? You are not a minister, you are not a senator, you are nothing. You are just wasting your money. Maybe if I didn't waste those monies, I wouldn't be standing here today. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Maybe if I didn't fight for Chuba, I wouldn't have um, been known as a great fighter. Fighter is not, I don't fight the less privileged. I don't fight anybody that I'm um, bigger than or richer than. I try to deal with people that are there. <laughs> so that 
By the time he begins to deal with them, then he, God will come in. You know, Goliath and David, something happened. So, and then um, I thank God that I uh, have people. You know, let me go back. You must aspire as every young man growing. You must look onto people. And these people tell them the truth. Deal with them. And you are, if you are humble, then they will accept you. I lost my dad. And I lost somebody whom uh, a lot of people here who knew me very, who know me very well. We know that I have a second father in Alhaji Gidado Idris. Alhaji Gidado Idris, a blessed memory. Whatever, if I like whatever I do, I must tell him the truth. And he will always stand by me. He told me, say, Mecca, you know, when my father died, my father left me only one transistor radio and uh, 12 pounds. You can imagine. And he now rose and became the Secretary of Government of the Federation. And, uh, he was the longest civil servant and that I've ever produced, served for 43 years. So that even if you like, do whatever you can, do whatever you can, leave whatever quantum of money that you leave for your children, for your brothers, for your, so whoever, friends. If God says that that thing will stay, it will stay. If not, you have seen in our area, it goes. So the best thing you leave for your children and your people is goodwill. And that is why. And that is what. <laughs> and that is what I have tried to do. And God has never let me down. And I know that God will not let me down. I have my siblings here, Nande, of four is here. Uh, my, my sister Ngozi is here. And, uh, well, um, the other ones are not able to make it because um, they are outside Nigeria. I have good friends, numerous, two numerous to mention, people who have touched me. You know, I have somebody like Tony Chuku here. Tony Chuku is a big man, a billionaire of uh, his own type, but he's still my younger brother. Tony Chuku, come here, come, don't come. Come because um, and Tony has it. Tony has it. Forget about his beers. If he hears that Semega is coming, he will start running. Eh? I don't have AK for seven. No, you know Chris said that my thank you. That whatever they have said here about me, whatever I've achieved in this world, wasn't gotten by advanced method. It was gotten by hard work. I must thank everybody here, especially my brother, Senator Ken Namane. Everywhere, people know us as twins now. Under rain, we are together. Onwa, onwa stand to be recognized. Onwa, and we know You see. Everywhere. And then um, you can imagine when um, the Anglican, Anglican communion in our in uh, New Diocese honored my father, presumably, Ambassador of Bagana King Gibe. Not only did he wear the same, uh, what's it called? This um, Ashebi. He even came into the church and danced with us. And people say, ah, say, make us so you cannot, so you know, if I'm going to. Bribe Ambassador Wagner King Gibe with tons. He wouldn't come, have come there because he doesn't. Uh, but you see, that's why younger ones here, you should emulate goodness, you should emulate humbleness, you should emulate friendship and respect for elders. If you don't respect people like Wagner King Gibe, then you will not respect God. Because human beings are God. Am I correct or not? The human beings that when you respect them, then you know that, yes, because you listen to them. Um, I may not be the most uh, exposed person here, most educated, most, but because I have interacted with people and I've been able to listen, I've been able to bring myself down, and I've been able to extract the important, those things that will help me to make up or put my life, pave the way, my life the way I want it. And that's what I've done. And I think... People that okay, 
We need numerous people. People that have volunteered to see that they make us succeed. It's not by my own making alone. I know people here, if I begin to mention them here, I will not go. Steve, Steve DK used to be, was my boss. When I was in, um, in uh, secondary school, class one, so stubborn, I don't know what is a junior or senior then. When I said, go and fetch what I said, no, no. They, they fight me. So, see, then the, one day they took my bed and kept my bed near the door during rainy season so that rain would splash on my head. But behold, somebody came and tapped me and looked at it. was Steve. He took me and to his cubicle and I slept there. So those people that have planned that failed. So Steve, you are my boss. Whatever you do, you are my boss. Because one good turn deserves another. Eh? You will not run away. We will Oh my. 